Hey everyone, Jerry here. I'm working on this photograph tonight. I've been working on it for about three hours. It's shot in Klong Toy Market in Bangkok and I want to use it in my upcoming show. The photograph was made with an uh, X-Pan Hasselblad which gives uh, about 235 negs length panoramic shot. And I was having trouble composing it. But this shot I think works fairly well because there's interesting detail um, from edge to edge. So the composition is it has, doesn't have all this n nasty dead space. I found it very difficult to use this to photograph people. But I think it seems like this where there's a lot of people, it works out well. Let me get a closer look here. Sorry for the reflections. A little shot of that. So to make this print, I'm giving an overall exposure of 105 seconds at f8 with filter three and a half. I have a multi-grade head on my enlarger. And then I'm using two burning masks to burn in the, the white areas of the prints. So this mask here is the second mask and it's used so everywhere there's a cutout, that's the burned out area where it's gonna burn, on, burn in the white area of the print. Um, the background above the man's head here is extremely white, this area in here, in the shot. But once I do the burning, you can see there's, you can get detail in there. Um, the second mask is for the areas that are a little bit more grayer. Um, the woman figure on the left here, this is where her child is, and the woman is here. So I'll give 45 seconds for this whole mask and I'll just dodge the woman figure out after 25 seconds. She only gets 25 and everything else gets 45. This one here, everything gets two minutes. So I end up burning quite a bit because uh, my burning time is also one epstop um, more open. So this is at F8 and the burns are done at F5.6. Also it's done on a multi-grade um, on the multi-grade head on grade zero. So three and a half for this exposure and all the burning is done in grade zero which gives fills this in nicely. Otherwise this would be kind of even with the burning would be a brighter white and by putting it on zero I get a nice kind of gray in there that kind of blends and doesn't stand out too much. But yet yeah, in, in certain parts I do like this little bottle cap I do have white in the print. You know, um, it's not too nasty. Now that I look at this, his t-shirt should be a little whiter here too. So I got work to do on this yet, but you'll get an idea of um, what the final print is like when you see the video of the show. But this gives you a kind of a understanding of what the process is, at least for me. It's quite involved. I mean, this is an all-night thing, and uh, we're continuing to work on it. I keep notes of every step along the way so that I can recreate what I've done. And here's the enlarger. It's a multi-grade head, so I'm able to switch it around. But I, this is three and a half, and then I, later on I go down to zero when I'm doing my burning. So hopefully that helps you understand what I'm doing a little bit um, as to burning my prints. Okay, bye-bye.